Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We just cleared out a bandit camp and um, now it is being inhabited by a bunch of Nora refugees. Uh, Nora outcasts, I guess, have taken over the fort and made it their own, which we are very happy to see. We are hot in the steps of uh, War Chief Sona, in the footsteps of War Chief Sona. So hopefully we can find out what happened to her, if she's still alive, and maybe even uh, catch up with her if she is and, and, and see what's going on. Um, before we do that, I think we need to level up. So let's go ahead and let's go to skills. We have one skill point to invest, so not much. We can look at some of the first level skills if we want, but we might just wait until we have more skills. Let's see. Disassemble resources and modifications into 50% of their metal shard value. Why would I want to disassemble something into 50% of their metal shard value when I could just sell it for their metal full metal shard value? Not sure. Gather resources and search down to enemies while mounted? No. That seems like a, easy, a quality of life thing, but not something that's actually going to help us. Speeds up healing for the medicine pouch. I think we definitely need to get this one. All right, fantastic. Now let's go to our quest journal and let's uh, let's see what what quests we have active right now. Um, so we have two quests. This is looking for War Chief Sona, um, and then there's a seeker at the gate. So let's remind ourselves what this is. To unravel the conspiracy against her, Aloy must leave the sacred land of the Nora tribe, but an infestation of corrupted machines stands in her way. Talk to Maria at Mother's Crown. I honestly can't remember what this is about. Somebody asked us to, like, find something or look into something. Regardless, I think we're going to do this. We're going to pick up this quest and see what it's all about. Tallneck, Devil's Thirst. Oh, that was that giant um, dinosaur looking thing that we saw. Interesting. Nora Hunting Grounds. Huh. This, uh, this looks like kind of achievement types quests and tutorials. Sharp Shot Karja Bow. Remove machine parts using Terror Blast arrows. Alright, um, I don't think we're going to do any of those tutorials, but let's definitely go talk to this Maria person and find out what exactly we're supposed to be doing for this quest before we continue looking after War Chief Sona. Because I think War Chief Sona is like the main quest line, so once we start continuing on with that, we may kind of pick up momentum with the story and then not have time for any other side quests. So, while we're over here, we should get this done. All right. I know we could be riding our horse around here, but I, I find it's it's much more satisfying. Oops, I don't want to be using my sharp shot bow. Ouch. Right. Gotta get used to that. We're back. Those guys are best not approached uh, straight up. Oh, our medicine bag is much quicker now. I see a boar in the distance. All right, I don't think it's worth running after the boar. Jesus. Not going well so far. I'm being sloppy. I'm letting myself not be careful. After taking out that bandit raid, I just feel kind of uh, untouchable, but I'm not. I'm really not. Uh. 
What settlement is this? Mother's crown. Mother's crown. Yeah, this this village is probably struggling from all the crazy machines out here, because they're outside the embrace. What happened to you, Hunter? Are you all right? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget, and you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. The heck is a cauldron? A cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Why? Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. Okay, so they're ruins of the metal people. Got it. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. If your There's lesson a reason is to be scared of cauldrons because of watchers, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment, you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Hmm. Hard disagree. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. Yeah, but your warning said that it's guarded by here watchers, and watchers are literally her a seeker. so here, easy girl. to deal with. Let's have a look at you. Should have known the courage of faith this could look to right. girl with the mark of a seeker. The sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it, but their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose, but I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley all by yourself. Hell yeah, we will. I'm good with the bow. For your sake, better than good, I hope. Okay, so that reminds me exactly what this quest line is. This is actually just the quest line of traveling to uh, Karja. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west, and beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. Hmm. Interesting. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley, and there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Good to know. Unless we'll use we our fire arrows. And put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the goddess. Mother's crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. 
Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Hmm. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. It does. We'll have to go check it out. So you're in charge of the defenses here? Mother's Crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Sound very confident. Trying to live up to glorious pasts as a way of getting people killed. You wouldn't know this, but I won the proving the year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the proving, Maria. This is real. You missed my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. Interesting. Well, great talking to you. Thank you for all the information. Sounds like we have a lot of work to do. If we want to get past the border station, we got to clear this whole valley of going. corruption. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. Thanks. I sincerely do hope so too. Let's go ahead and save while we're here. And uh, looks like there's only two corrupted zones to take care of, so that shouldn't be too bad. And it looks like we have some possible quests to get here as well. Let's see what's going on. The fast travel system allows you to quickly return to settlements and campfires you've discovered. I haven't really fast traveled much in this game because we haven't had a need, but maybe we'll get to fast traveling in a little bit. You're the seeker. The one who was an outcast. My hunting party. My party has... You fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. Hmm. What was your hunting party doing? After the Proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back. And those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. Uh-oh. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. Uh... They're probably dead, my man. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid... My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. Don't worry, I'm a seeker. Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. Alright, this sounds like a more urgent um, quest that we need to take care of. Um, so we've got this, where we're trying to get into Meridian. The Karja have closed the gate at Day Tower because of the threat of corrupted machines in the valley. And so we got to clear out the corrupted zones, but we need to be level 12 for that. We're only level 10. So maybe we do a couple of other quests first. Um, so why don't we find Sona? And then why don't we do the side quest where we go rescue this, this guy's um, hunting party. Um, I think there's one more quest, but I don't think we're going to get it just yet. I think we'll get it later. We have plenty enough to do right now. So let's uh, let's see if we can find uh, War Chief Sona. Go into our last known location. Uh, 
Honestly, um... Don't remember how to call the steed. There we go. Melee is actually kind of fun. I know I've been avoiding melee so far. All the way up here. Let me see if I can't find that control for um, calling my mount again. Ah, of course. I forget that it's just on this hot bar, but we actually haven't tamed a strider yet. So, it might be worth trying to tame a strider on our way because this seems to be pretty far to travel on foot. So any striders we see, we'll um, we'll have to sneak up on them. Braids will take forever to dry. We gotta stock our medicine pouch back up. Another signal. Another signal. It's a fox, ancient debris. What's this other signal? Watcher, boar. I don't know what signal she's talking about. Let's look at this ancient debris. Ancient metal eye and a watch. That's cool. I like how you can find these old, like, quote-unquote relics, and they're just like coffee mugs and watches and very, like, normal, mundane things. Poor Fox. Scrabbling a bit. But we need the meat for upgrades. I think upgrading our pouches and stuff usually requires, like, meat from animal kills. Ancient necklace. Another watch. Ancient wreath. Looks like a necklace. Hold on. I think we're... We're at inadvertently doing this quest on our way to find High Chief Sona, and it looks like we failed to investigate the area and find the missing braves, so we have some sawtooths to kill now. I am, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. I didn't realize we were, we were gonna complete this quest on the way. I hope there wasn't a way to actually save those poor, um, those poor braves that we just missed. That's a machine I can't override. Not until I've learned more. All right. How are we going to take these out? I remember last time it was pretty difficult. Let's see if we can't read our notebook and learn what there is to learn about Sawtooth again. I know we've done this before, but I need to review. Sawtooth. They're weak to fire. They've got a blaze canister on their belly that explodes. Right, that was the key to taking them out. So we got our fire arrows out. 
We just need to get a good vantage point where we can potentially There we go. Someone's still there. We want to take this canister out, but it's hard to get the a good perspective. Deal with them. Ouch. Okay. I think we messed up this fight. Run away! Did we lose sight of- They lost sight of us. That was pretty easy to give them the chase. That wasn't so bad. We haven't lost yet. Calm, calm. I think it might be advantageous to get around another side to get a better vantage point. Alright. Let's try this again. Hopefully this time. Okay, there's our window. Let's tag this target. Let's highlight its track. When it stands right in front of us there, that's our time to hit the canister. Here we go. Oh, it's not giving us much time. Okay. It's gonna be harder than I thought. Maybe we need to get a different angle on this, this approach. We'll try out all the different entrances to this fort and see which one gives us the best, um... The best angle of attack. Careful. There we go. We exploded it. Run away, Aloy. You can't fight these things toe to toe. Or maybe I can. Maybe I'm just not being very brave. Now we've pissed off some watchers. I'm not too worried about these guys. Alright, we need to get back in there. This thing is down. Ouch! It has a sensor on its back. See that little thing on its butt? Targeting that. I think we've taken it down. Alright, we've taken one of the scrappers down. Fantastic. One more to go. Oh, sorry, I'm calling them scrappers. These are sawtooths. Scrappers are much less threatening and intimidating. Alright. So I think we need a repeat of that. 
basically explode the canister, run away, kite it, and then shoot the thing on its back. Oh, that angle was perfect. I don't think we're gonna get another good angle like that. Doesn't see me. Perfect. So I walk right past us. Perfect. Now run away. Let it chase us. I think we did it. Remember when killing one Sawtooth was a whole, whole ordeal? We just took down two without dying. Okay, so now that we took down the Sawtooths, we have to explore the ruin and find those, um, find that war party again. What's this? First Amendment virtual? Let's view this in our notebook. Editorial. Does the First Amendment apply to virtual spaces? April 29, 2063. Last week, in one of the biggest synchronized police actions in U.S. history, the homes of more than 700 private citizens were raided and more than 500 arrests were made for the crime of inciting criminal behavior using private informational processes. If you've been paying attention to the past nine years, you'll know how the parse above You'll know how to parse the above legal word soup. Those raided accused of participating in a virtual anti-corporate sovereignty rally, this time at the hollow net headquarters of the Sterling Malkit. Interesting. Watching 500 people, many of them bloodied and terrified, hauled from their homes by police SWAT bots is understandably and rightfully horrifying to a lot of people, but this is nothing new. As far back as 2054, when the first major arrest of virtual protesters occurred over the occupation of Metallurgic International's Holographic Customer Service Center, pundits and courts have engaged in the debate over whether or not the internet constitutes a public space and is therefore legally required to oblige peaceful, peaceable assembly. That is very interesting. Rallies on the internet. Le uh, legislation simply hasn't caught up with the advances of the holonet, and that's no accident. It serves the interests of the Sterling Malkit and Metallurgic and their corporate ilk to treat the holoscape not as a public space, but in the words of Metallurgic Bass backed Senator Gerard O'Neill, an array of privately owned information processes. Intriguing. All right. Anything else we can investigate while we're here? We gotta explore this ruin because Oh, You're oh that there they are. Who was outcast. What are you doing here? Your friend Hi. Den told me to come find you. Why are you up there? The sawtooth ripped our packs from us. Uh, uh me. Us. Without weapons, this was the best we could manage. Thank you so much for destroying it. Now we can get home. One thing, you won't tell anyone you saw us here, will you? Of course not. I didn't. At least, not your friend. Need any help getting down? We'll go back on our own. Don't take this the wrong way, but maybe we shouldn't be seen with you, or they might figure us out. All right. So hopefully, um... Hopefully Den will be pleased. We found his friends and brought them back to safety by killing the Sawtooth. 
I think we were supposed to investigate the ruin first and then kill the Sawtooth, so I think we kind of did that quest in backwards order, but it's fine. We got there in the end, didn't we? Um, let's go back to our main quest. We're, we're trying to look for Sona. We're going to our last known location, which is somewhere near these ruins. A tall neck. Looks just like Ross described. A signal must be coming from his head. I need to get up there. Interesting. Intriguing. Jump onto the tall neck's back. Tall nest, devil, devil's thirst. All right. Let's see what we can learn about tall necks. Do we have them in our machine catalog? Hard outer casing to protect synthetic muscle and operational systems. Climb hold. Information antennas. Okay, that's what these are. Can be used as climbing holds when scaling. Okay, so we can climb up those things. Radar, information storage hub, override to access the local area information. All right. Oblivious to interruption, this giant circles an area monitoring machines and local conditions. So maybe this thing can give us information since it's monitoring the area. So if I go to my quest, what does it actually say about this tall neck? It doesn't say anything, it just says tall neck. Is there a reason why we want to jump on this tall neck's back? I'm assuming there's a good reason for it. Sounds like it has like information, potentially. Maybe it'll help us find Sona, I'm not sure. But if there's a tall neck in here, let's deal with it. It's on the way to Sona anyways. Just need to find a good way in. I see watchers as well. Where there's watchers, there's fights to be had. Who are those people? Are those statues or people? Those are statues. Oh, the Tonek's like right here. I don't think it'll aggro us. I think it's just completely like Not enough like it says oblivious. There must be another way. Not enough holes to climb the legs. There must be another way. I see another way. Ouch! That guy talk took me a little bit off guard. Need to get back in there. That's more like it. Way to go, Aloy. Okay, melee is definitely not my thing. When I'm at a distance and I have my bow, I'm not too bad a shot. So, I think. If we want to climb on this thing's back, we just need to climb up high. We should be able up to jump here. onto the tall neck from here. That depends. Where is the tall neck? There's the tall neck. Hard to miss something that big. Made it. Now to climb up to its head. All right. You got this. Oh my gosh, Aloy, making me nervous. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're on its head. We can use our stick to override it. I know, I know. I wouldn't want to be poked in the head either. What are we doing? Sees to other machines. 
that's intriguing. So the machines have a sort of collective consciousness. Then this is kind of like the central hub of all their information. It relays everything it sees. All right. Sounds like we got to rappel down. Oh my gosh. Did we just kill it? Why did it get all electrocuted? Seems fine. All right. Back to tracking Sona. I think we're gonna end the episode sometime soon. This must soon. be the rise Sona's runner told me about. <laughs> All right. Um. Here we are, on Sona's trail. I think we're going to uh, end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.